my leader time. The senator may use his leader time. First, let me uh, commend my friend and colleague from Louisiana for his uh, observations about the need to increase domestic uh, production. I think he certainly agrees with me. We'll be talking about this a lot more in the coming months as uh, the price of gas to the pump continues to rise, and I thank him for his in insight. Madam President, at some point this week, senators will have an opportunity to take a position on government spending. On two bills, the majority leader has predicted will fail. One is a serious effort to rein in wa wasteful Washington spending that's gotten completely and totally out of control. The other, by our Democratic friends, is a proposal so unserious that even its supporters have been forced to exaggerate its impact, something they've called out something they've been called out on by the press repeatedly. <laughs> that proposal comes on the heels of an equally unserious proposal by the White House last week to cut $6 billion from federal spending for the entire year at a time when Washington is averaging about $4 billion in deficit spending every day. Madam President, let me say that again. We're running a $4 billion deficit every day single day this year. Apparently, Democratic leaders in Congress thought that even that was too much to cut because the bill they're proposing this week shaves it down to only 4.7. So you had the administration last week that said they'd go along with 6.5 billion. The proposal the Democrats in the Senate are gonna uh, lay before the Senate this week only reduces spending $4.7 billion. That's about what we're engaged in deficit spending every single day. We're averaging about $4 billion a day in debt this year, and Democrats want to cut $4.7 billion and call it a day. That's their idea of getting serious. Washington will add more to the debt this week than they want to cut for the entire year, and that's the farthest their leaders are willing to go. Anything more they say is draconian, draconian. I'll tell you what's draconian. Draconian is what happens if Democrats don't get real about our nation's fiscal crisis. Yesterday, the Independent Congressional Budget Office issued a report that gave us a pretty good sense of the recklessness of Washington spending these days. Last month alone, last month alone, the federal government spent $223 billion more than it had. Last month alone, the highest monthly deficit ever, and the 29th straight month Washington has been in the red. And here's the Democrats' proposal. Let's cut $4.7 billion and call it a day. $4.7 billion, even less than the president called for just last week, and even that was ridiculed because of the preposterous claim that it met us halfway. It's time our friends on the other side stop trying to see what they can get away with and actually summon the courage to get our fiscal house in order. Because here's the hard truth. Even the biggest cuts under discussion this week are puny compared to the fiscal problems we face in the area of entitlements. I mean, it's pitch battle around here over $4.7 billion when we've got a $14 trillion debt and more than $50 trillion in entitlement promises that Washington can't keep. If Democrats can't bring themselves to cut, if Democrats can't bring themselves to cut $4.6 billion, how are we going to get a handle on the really big stuff? This is just a dress rehearsal, Madam President. Democrats are going to have to do a lot better than this if we stand a chance of getting our nation's fiscal house in order. Frankly, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. The American people deserve better than this. It's time for Democrats in Washington to face facts. And as I said yesterday, it's time for the president to get off the sidelines and to lead. Because with each passing day, it becomes clear that Democrats in Congress cannot bring themselves on their own to get serious about the problems we face. They don't even want to admit these problems 
exist. Madam President, I yield the floor, and I suggest yes. Yeah. I yield the floor.